In this problem, we're going to solve an inequality. We have x minus 2 over x minus 1 less than or equal to 0. So the first step when solving inequalities is to make sure there's a 0 on the right-hand side and there's a single term on the left-hand side. That's already done. We have one thing here and we have 0. The next step is to set each piece equal to 0. Okay, this is called the test point method. So you set each piece equal to 0 and you solve. So you get x equals 2 and x equals 1. So again, step 1, make sure there's a 0 here, check. Step 2, set each piece equal to 0 and solve. Check. Now we draw a number line. So, and you plot your answers on the number line. So 1 and 2. Okay, now I'm going to show you a really cheesy trick that works almost every time. So now you have to pick test points. Okay, so the easiest number in the world to plug in is 0. So we're going to check 0. So we're plugging in 0. So we get 0 minus 2 over 0 minus 1, and that's less than or equal to 0. So that means we get 2 over 1 less than or equal to 0. That's false. So we pick 0 from here. So because it's false, we're not going to shade here. We'll shade here instead, and then we won't shade here. The pattern is always shade, no shade, shade, no shade. So for example, if you had 1, 4, 7, if this is shade, then this is no shade, then this is shade, then this is no shade. So we shade, no shade, shade, no shade. So because it's not true, right, because this is not true, and 0 came from here, then we don't shade here, and we shade in the other part. So it's no shade, shade, shade. If it was true, then it would be shade, no shade, shade. You always alternate the shade and no shade. If it's true, you shade where you pick it from. If it's not true, you don't shade where you pick it from. Okay, so we have our picture. Let me draw it again. And we've shaded here. The last thing to figure out is where the parentheses and brackets go. So let me rewrite the problem. x minus 2 over x minus 1 less than or equal to 0. So the surefire way to figure out if it's a parentheses or a bracket is to actually take these numbers and plug it back into your inequality. For example, if you plug in 1, you get 1 minus 2 over 1 minus 1, less than or equal to 0. So that means you have negative 1 over 0, less than or equal to 0. That doesn't make any sense. You can't have 0 on the bottom, so you have a parentheses. And the parentheses always face the shading. Cheap trick. Whatever is on the bottom will always give you a parentheses. So 1 is from the bottom, so it's a parentheses, always. Now 2, you can plug in 2. Let's check 2. So you would get 2 minus 2 over 2 minus 1, less than or equal to 0. So 2 minus 2 is 0, so you get 0 over 1, less than or equal to 0. So 0 less than or equal to 0. That's true because 0 is equal to 0, so we use a bracket. So the answer here would be parentheses 1, bracket 2. That's the answer. Let's go ahead and type it in. So it's parentheses 1, bracket 2. Beautiful stuff. And then it wants us to pick the correct picture here. Looks like it's going to be this one here, C. Looks like the best choice. And that's it. I hope that made sense.